Asbestos-containing materials hidden within existing products have been in use for thousands of years. In fact, it was mined from rock formation in ancient times as a wick for lamps, tablecloths, textiles, and other useful items. In modern times, asbestos has been used for many products such as fireproofing, pipe insulation, theater curtains, siding, roofing, gaskets and packing, water and sewer pipe, and more. In water and wastewater applications, asbestos cement pipe may contain as much as 20% asbestos or more, which is used as reinforcement for the pipe, much in the same way steel is used to reinforce concrete in bridges and buildings. However, we must understand that the cement used in the pipe can degrade over time, therefore increasing the risk of fiber release. The types of asbestos used are both the serpentine, chrysotile, and amphibole, amosite, and crocidolite. Some people think that asbestos was banned by the EPA, so there is no more asbestos. However, the ban was overturned by the courts, so it is safe to say asbestos is still in existence today in some form or another. In spite of the fact that many manufacturers claim dates when asbestos was no longer contained in their products, their prior product line still contains asbestos. In fact, many companies still have tons of equipment or pipelines. Regulations require that employees must be informed of the presence of asbestos-containing products. In addition, only fully trained individuals should be allowed to perform work with asbestos-containing products or work where fibers may be released in the air. A major fallacy that exists is that no asbestos is released from products such as gaskets, packing, or cementitious materials. The employer must also ensure that proper containment, storage, and labeling of asbestos-containing products are complied with until picked up by an asbestos-certified waste management firm. It's also important to consider the certification, training, and qualifications of any contractors before bidding or starting work with AC pipe or related products. So be sure to obtain copies of any permits, licenses, and training certifications for your due diligence file. If employees will be using respiratory protection, then the employer must develop and implement a full respiratory protection program, including training, physicals, and fit testing at a minimum. The anticipated level of respiratory protection will be dependent on an industrial hygiene prediction of aerosolized levels of an asbestos